हेलो एवरीवन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेसेसिटी ऑफ हाईवे प्लानिंग सो व्हिच काइंड ऑफ प्लानिंग इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डेवलप द हाईवे ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन इंडिया एज वेल एज एनीवेयर व्हिच काइंड ऑफ प्लान्स आर रिक्वायर्ड वी विल डिस्कस राइट नाउ इन द प्रेजेंट प्लानिंग इज कंसीडरिंग एज ए प्री इन्वेस्टिगेशन बिफोर अटेम्प्टिंग द Uh, development the program so obviously it is correct so when we are going to the when we are going to develop a program we need to investigate the before that and we need to uh, plan for that the um, program and this particularly true for the any engineering works as a planning is the basis requirement for the for a, any new project or uh, an expansion of the programming yeah obviously correct but uh, in somewhere else for example when work is started continuously 2 3 years is going on but uh, unfortunately uh, it will be uh, it will be stop uh, at that time again it will be postponed around 2 uh, to 3 years then what happened after 2 to 3 years when new new government is uh, formed uh, then autom- again the same work it will be start uh, they again they call tenders and everything so at that at the time the tendering companies may came and they submit their tenders and some, any one company got the work for the that one so before they coming to the tender work what they done so uh, before which company taken that work and which company they did the work and how much distance so what is the uh, budget and which kind of the work they did so these complete information those company means now which company got the work that company uh, totally invest uh, investigating when they came when they came to the uh, tendering process so the work is a little bit safe or secure then only those companies uh, come to the tendering only so then only and those company uh, involved with the further uh, works for af uh, to continue that uh, project uh, thus highway planning is also uh, basic need uh, for the highway development so then only we can construct a good quality and good condition of the highway so without planning while entering into the work uh, so it will be completely uh, we can face the problem so that's why uh, before uh, done the work uh, we need to do all kind of the planning and all kind of the parameter we need to uh, identify and then only uh, enter into the work then we can do in a accurate way uh, in some some case uh, some people's uh, and they not uh, maintaining any kind of the proper planning or any guidelines and any guidelines uh, while they coming enter into the work and they doing work in few days then automatically some problem will be face then again they check uh, their planning and then it will be completely um, they are they are facing problem at the particular time then what happen automatically they lost their time and the material and the financially it will be some problems is happen so that's why we need to uh, look at into the matter so before enter enter into the work Pla- uh, particularly planning uh, is of great importance when the funds available are limited uh, whereas the total requirement is much high so this is actually the problem in the developing countries uh, like india as the best utilization of available funds has to be uh, made in a system uh, made in a systematic and planned way so uh, when fund is more fund fund is available is there uh, but uh, our work is more so at that time we we have to manage Uh, we have to manage to uh, particular way then only we can get uh, achieve that uh, complete work otherwise uh, we will face a uh, uh, lot of problem and we will face a uh, lot of difficulty um, those who are allocated us 
so we need to overcome that kind of the problem or uh, whatever it may be so we should follow the rules and regulation of the uh, authorities as well as the uh, we need to maintain the some proper planning and then only we can overcome the uh, this all kind of the problems and etc so the some of the objective of the highway planning uh, we will discuss so there is a number 1 to plan a road a network for efficient and uh, safe traffic uh, operation uh, but uh, at a minimum cost yeah obviously it is correct uh, but to have the minimum cost then we need to uh, construct a road network with uh, uh, good efficient and as well as a uh, uh, safe traffic we need to uh, construct um, for the passenger so but uh, require uh, what to have available of the um, cost uh, money so then only we can do the work in a safe zone otherwise uh, if uh, amount is less then we will construct in a uh, different manner or highly then what happen automatically we will face uh, Uh, difficulty um, for the construction so that's why uh, we need to take minimum cost and construct a uh, safe traffic and efficient road network uh, then only we can save and here the cost of construction and maintenance and renewal of the pavement layer so that is also one of the thing you know the pavement layer and vehicle operation cost so that is also important are to be given due to consideration yeah obviously so when 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 going to cons- uh, uh, constructing uh, so cons- cost of construction uh, construction in some case it will be more and in some case it will be less so depends upon the situation what would maybe and we, maintenance also is uh, required so which kind of material we are um, we are purchasing over there so with continuously we can construct it will be uh, safe otherwise it will be some facing some problem what happen we should maintain every uh, uh, those thing and some uh, renewal of the pavement layer so obviously that is correct so for example when we are constructing uh, road so for example it is a 7 years uh, validity or 10 years validity what happened so any uh, in some particular uh, place the layer it will be washed out um, through the rain it may be and uh, um, some what happened if uh, more uh, temperature will be there some uh, somewhere else it will be broken or uh, the small uh, kind of the material it will be come out from the layer so that's why it will be problem so eradicate that we need to uh, construct we need to renew renew the particular layer uh, over there so that's why that uh, pavement uh, uh, pavement layer also we need to maintaining and uh, we need to maintain vehicle operation so vehicle operation cost will be there now so mean when when we are going to construct that time we will be maintenance vehicle everything but afterwards our work is completed within 2 years but our we should give the validity complete uh, till end of the years means for example we are giving uh, 10 years validity so we are completed road within 1 to 2 years then remaining 8 years is there now so it is is belongs to our responsibility for any kind of the damage or any kind of the work so we need to uh, handle at the damage time so same we need to take a vehicle or maintenance or material or cost of construction everything will be going on at the particular time so we have to maintain all those things yeah then another point is to arrive at a road system and the length of the different categories of the road uh, which could be provided maximum utility so we we should provide maximum utility and could be constructed uh, within the availability so that is a very important thing so for the uh, we have we need to consider uh, uh, this point into the planning action so wa- uh, what uh, we have the uh, sources with with that sources only uh, we need to construct the maximum utility of the road uh, so then only it is a helpful for the pedestrians or vehicle or uh, people or travelers whatever it may be so uh, that is also very important uh, availability is required of availability is required within the availability only we need to give the uh, 
maximum utility for the uh, human being so that one also very important point yeah then another point is uh, to fix up the date wise uh, priorities uh, for the development of the each road link uh, so that is also one thing so for example when it is a rainy season when rainfall is a maximum is occurring for the flexible payment zone then what are automatically when uh, for example when runoff is a maximum then automatically and the bitumen or sub base base layer automatically it will be washed out then what happen we need to maintain we need to develop uh, all those things over there so that's why we need to fix um, before the damage we need to identifying and we need to uh, renew and we we should uh, uh, give the utility to the um, people so that is the main criteria for facing the road development programs so when we are giving the planning these all kind of the parameter we have to think and we have to do the work yeah uh, the plan for the uh, future requirements and implementation of the road in view of the anticipation anticipated uh, development anticipated development uh, yeah obviously it, uh, it will also uh, good point uh, future requirement is uh, most important for example uh, when we are going to construct a you know, four way highway four way road so we need to take uh, extra land also besides so four way we are constructing and both side service road also we are constructing then only uh, we are not uh, Mm, living so why, why because uh, when population is gradually increasing then what happen automatically we need to require the transportation so then what happened what happened so four ways it will be goes into eight ways so that's why we need to require land so before that only we have to think our uh, annual population and annual constructing place each and everything we will uh, we will think and uh, we will identified so for example this year our population is for example uh, 10 crores then uh, what is the after 5 years 10 into 5 50 crores so uh, averagely i mean by average you can add another 10 crores means 60 crores so we need to require uh, life we need to require good lifestyle and we need to require a living place we need to require the transportation system everything will be is required so that's why what happened automatically we need to require the more land to uh, elaborate the transportation system also so that's why when we are going to construct and we have to think on future constructing so now we are constructing only the four way line and both sides of the service road only but while future eight way is going on and service road also is going on so that's why we need to think uh, future planning for the constructing so likewise this one also uh, very important for, uh, point for the necessity of the highway planning and another point is uh, to work out uh, financing system uh, so everyone doing with the uh, finance only without that uh, we can we cannot do anything so um, before uh, developing the program or before developing the work or new project our existing project when we are doing so we need to require particular uh, planning and uh, we need to require good financial support and everything then only uh, we are going to do the work then we can successfully complete it uh, without any hesitation or without any uh, work so without planning and without uh, proper uh, achieving or without proper any uh, maintenance then we can get uh, more problem can get more loss and each and everything it will be problem at the construction zone so we cannot uh, give give the result to the uh, authorities as well as the human being for the transportation system so we should to take uh, uh, responsibility and we should follow the rules and regulation and we need to take good plan plan and action and financially and quantitatively qualitatively each in every parameter according to the planning and each uh, aspects then only we can get the good result and we can build uh, 
good transportation system and we can give the good result in a transportation system to the authority and as well as the human being so these are the plannings and thank you